Okay, and welcome back to Selbyan Radio. We've got another parcel today. Uh, this isn't from the boys at LAM because they don't uh, <laughs> they don't sell these. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one day they will do. So uh, I'll open uh, I'll open this up. It's just come. It's only just come. I've only just taken the uh, the parcel in, so I shall just open it up and show you what's inside. Right, as you can see, it's a high terror. This is for DMR, and I have had DMR. <coughs> I did have a Motorola DMR, and I have had a high terror handheld. But uh, we've sold the the Motorola, so just so I can keep in with DMR, I bought this. Um, this is the first time it's been opened up, and I'm doing this with one hand, so you must excuse me. So in the box we have. Uh, the High Terror. I believe this is the 565 model. I believe, I think. Let me just have a look. Uh, PD565. Portable radio. Oh, very nice. It, it comes with a charger. Which I didn't know because uh, the last uh, new eye terror I bought didn't. Comes with uh, the uh, driver. Uh, battery. Saying that's a driver, I would think that's probably instructions, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, the lead for the uh, for the charger, and that's uh, that's all what there is in the box. So I'll put this radio together, and then we shall be back. Well, I've quickly come back again because I forgot to take the uh, there's the antenna. <laughs> forgot that, <coughs> and there's the uh, belt clip. And also the strap as well. So I forgot those. They were hidden away right at the bottom of the box. So that's that. Now, without further ado, I've just put the battery on. And as you can see, she's on. But I'll say I've only just switched her on. It's nothing programmed into it yet. So we'll. Uh, We'll program the repeaters in, and then we shall be back. Apart from the fact you get the old warning light coming up after a little while, when the oil gets a bit low from the old one, but there we are. Two three six one miss. Yeah, I, I I couldn't afford the Honda. I bought the Hyundai, the two point two kilowatt, with the uh, the gas conversion kit. And uh, that's what I was using up in Scotland. Um, I think it was Sunday. Uh, last Sunday was up on Barra. This repeater. And I'd run out of gas. About 20 so, uh, away from me. Uh, I'd, I'd run out of gas uh, for the for the way. generator. I had a couple of 3.9 gas for the bedroom. generator because it's supposed to be. Well, I I did some tests with because I was in the gas industry. I did some tests with the flow meter. On the, only a, a cup of water in a normal kettle, camping kettle on the gas ring, and then I put uh, the same amount of water in a 700 watt electric kettle, put the meter on the, the gas line uh, going to the generator, and because it was such a big generator, it's two kilowatts, just a bit more, it was virtually tick over, and I used less gas running the generator on 700 watts on that cup of water than using a gas flame. So um, it was good. I couldn't afford the big under. They're about, what, 1,400 pounds. Anyway, this this Hyundai 2.2 suitcase generator, although it's a bit of an heavy lump, it works fine. It's got electric start on it as well as bull start, so I can use a key fob to start it. Although you're supposed to turn the gas off, it's ideal for petrol. 
for what I'm coming to, while I was up on the outer empties, I um, I ended up putting some petrol in it. Uh, and I didn't want to do it, but uh, it sealed up well enough. It was in the uh, in the back of the shower when it wasn't being used, you know, in the back of the van. And uh, it run quite well, but uh, early hours of Monday morning, um, one o'clock in the morning, I ran out of gas and fuel for the generator, so I had to flip in, uh, start the van up. It was quite cold and there was a bit of a wind blowing. And that's what forced me into uh, coming off uh, from Castle Bay Monday morning. I took the ferry over to Auburn and then uh, had a couple of nights coming down like to Manchester. I spent a night or two, well, one night in Manchester with the grandkids. And then came back here on Thursday. But uh, it's a heavier than the Honda generator, the same uh, equivalent to power. Obviously, it's got a flywheel on it and a starter motor and a gel battery. But, uh, again, it's it's the convenience. I never get my money back, as you know. You never get your money back on them, Pedro. But they're so convenient to use um, when, you're, when you're in a situation where you need, uh, you need uh, yeah, so two 40 nice volts already. with a fair bit of ampage. I've got a little bit of I've got a little inverter that can charge the computer, but if I want to use uh, serious power, I, I lift the generator out, and it, it works fine. It's relatively quiet. As you know, the, the, under the, the bee's knees, but I haven't got bee's knees money here, Pedro. G7 VC. OK, I've just given you a demonstration in the bedroom. Now we're outside. And we're I'm, uh, I can hear you both. I can hear me. I'm sorry, uh, you're... Yeah, M3 UEO, M3 VDA. It's just giving a demonstration of this in uh, in uh, Simplex Digital now. Uh, just for our YouTube uh, people. I did pick you up there from M3 VDA. Oh, you're a good signal to me, mate. You're a very good signal to me. Now, I'm on the high terror 705, just stood in the back garden. Uh, 10 4. Well, as the crow flies, Tony will be about two mile away. And um, we're just both working on Andels, and as you can see, it's picking up pretty well from the garden. So, uh, quite good, Tony. Uh, from M3VDH. For you, we are. Yes, excellent signal for me, David. Uh, an excellent signal coming back. I'm just demonstrating that now. Oh, that's good, yeah. And, and, and the thing is, it's not like B-Star, where it'll just break up. It just, uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin, does, uh, does DMR. Uh, ten four. I'm saying that I ain't getting a signal off you, but you sound like you stood next to me, as you'll see in the video. Uh, come on, Anton, just say hello from MC VDH. Hello, this is MC VND. Yeah, that's MC VND. He's just over the road, so as you can see, we're getting a full signal off uh, off Anton, who's over the road. Are you all right today, Anton? MC VND, MC VDH. Mm. I'm very well today, very well indeed. Yes, I'm uh, quite okay. From my three really. Right, Tony, are you getting, I presume you'll be getting Anton OK, are you, from MCVDH? Yes, I'm getting him alright, uh, Anton, I don't know what you can hear me. I'm free VND. I'm free you are. Sounds like he's not getting me, Dave. Okay, but well that's just a quick demonstration on Simplex. Right, I have no idea whether this, uh, whether I'll be able to open the repeater. The repeater is round about, as the crow flies, 20 miles away. Let's see if we can open the, the leads repeater. I don't know if I can or not from here, but we'll give it a go. No, no wake up. And we're on high power. Not a dicky roll, just move. Let's have a look. Let's have a little move, just see if we can open it, because sometimes I can open it from the garden. This is M3VDH. M3VDH is monitoring on worldwide. Right. 
actually they are, we've opened the repeater from here, which is around about 20 mile away. This is Mike 3 Victor Delta Hotel, Mike 3 Victor Delta Hotel. Listening worldwide. So there you go, as you can see we are getting in to the repeater, which is round about 20 mile away from here. So quite impressive. Pity nobody's coming back just to say they can hear us.